Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin guys, I am not giving you any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims, and I'm not making any claims for or against any product or products. Everything in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. This is actually a response or a reply video to a Joe Rogan recent podcast that he did and he had like some doctors on there and they gave really good information. I'm going to read off some interesting statistics to you guys that were on that podcast and then give you a little bit of my opinion. So the very first one says that 74% of all Americans are either overweight or obese. Now, what I would like to do that's kind of interesting is everybody watching, comment below and tell me if you fall into one of these categories because I'm actually really quite curious and this is going to tell me a lot about my viewers but also what's going on in America and in the world in regards to people's health issues. 74% is a rather large number in my opinion. And a lot of my protocols, I'm going to actually throw this in there because it's interesting. My protocols, I've, a lot of these issues, I had these issues. I've known a lot of people who've had these issues. And a lot of them have disappeared when they do a lot of the protocols that I created for myself. So obviously being obese or overweight is not an issue for me anymore. Uh, young adults, uh, let's see, young adult cancers are going up by 79% in the last 10 years. That one I can't say anything about, but that's a lot. 25% of men now under the age of 40 have erectile dysfunction. Guys, this is huge. This is one in four people under the age of 40. This is absolutely unheard of. I have no issues with this. And one of the interesting reasons that I bring it up is because a lot of the techniques that I've used for my health have actually, it's kind of strange to share this, but has enhanced the ability to basically pitch a tent, as they would say, because it really has a lot to do with blood flow, your health, vascularity, and the protocols. I never expected my protocols to really help with something like that, but it's made a massive difference. So I think it's really shows a lot about your health. It, it really does. Okay, next one. 50% now of American adults have type 2 diabetes or prediabetes. Guys, 50%. So I don't know if you understand this, but we're talking one in two people. This is absolutely crazy. Now, I've worked with a lot of people who've had diabetes or pre-diabetes. Uh, type 2 diabetes is what they're saying. And I've had huge success in regards to that, actually. And so this is, an, the, the, what I'm trying to say is, that in my opinion, these things can be solvable. And I know that my techniques have worked for myself and others. But let's see here. It also says, these were diseases that were, oh yeah, they go back in the day. The numbers, it used to be like 1% of people, not 50%. And this is crazy. And now this is, seems to be mostly focused on America. I think we need to make America healthy. It's really sad a lot of the numbers that I've seen. But okay, moving on. Alzheimer's and dementia are going through the roof. Guys, this is another huge one. Because I, look, the medical establishment tells us, and I've worked in the medical establishment for people who didn't know for like 20 years, or maybe a little more. And what's actually interesting about this is they say there's nothing you can really do for dementia or, or Alzheimer's. In fact, the drugs that they typically give you for such things, in, they're just really to slow things down, not really to fix it. Watch one of my, you know what, I'll put a link down below for another video that I already did, but those of you who maybe missed it, I've used, some people have used my protocols for dementia and Alzheimer's, and the results have been absolutely incredible, and also people with TBI, which is traumatic brain injury. And I believe that my techniques actually will do, will be really good for people's health. And I've seen it do crazy things that I didn't expect. I didn't expect dementia or Alzheimer's to get better, but clearly I've seen those testimonials and I've shared some of that stuff with you guys, including photos and pictures. Okay, um, the magic of hydrogen, right? And clean water and, and other stuff. But okay, the next one, young adult dementias have increased. Think about this, young adults getting dementia. Oh my gosh. It's tripled since 2012, so the early onset of dementia is really increasing the youth. That's incredible. One in two Americans are expected to have cancer in their lifetime now. One in two, okay. That's, or, and that's a lot, but all right, moving on. Um, and I mean, for people who've seen some of the, well, actually, I don't think I ever posted them. So I've literally worked with people who've had cancer, seen their tumor shrink, disappear, using a lot of my the protocols that I would use for myself. Okay, 1 in 36 children has autism now. That's pretty wild. Um, but I believe the rates are even higher in California. But I think it's like 1 in 20-something. I mean, guys, that's a lot. 1 in 36 in entire United States has autism now. And I have also worked with people with autism. 
being able to improve autism and things of that nature and help a lot of the symptoms, but I've never seen my protocols completely eliminate autism and totally fix some person. It's almost like it's a, it's a tough one. All right. Uh, young adult dementias have increased. Oh, I think we already went into that. Um, okay. So back in the year 2000, one in 150 children had autism. Now it's one in 36 in the United States. So there's the numbers a little more clear. And it says in California, autism is one in every 22 children, guys. This is getting too weird. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, infertility. This has been a really, really big issue lately from what I've been finding out. And this is another interesting one. My protocols, I noticed help fertility for both men and women. I've actually had testimonials in regards to that also. And they are using, again, really good hydrogen. And it's both a combination of hydrogen water, hydrogen gas. That's my opinion on how it works best. You want the best nano bubbles. You want the cleanest stuff. But if you do it right, because if you don't do it right, in my opinion, it actually is not good for fertility. And it's actually not very good for a lot of things. But I will say that fertility has gotten... Uh, here it says infertility has been going up by 1% every year. And in Japan, they actually have fertility clinics where they use hydrogen. And of course, they use a, the best Japanese machine in the world in those particular clinics. I could get more information if people are interested, but I didn't, I've never had a lot of people contacting me about that. But I have had some. Okay, 77% of young Americans can't serve in the military because of obesity or drug abuse, guys. That's almost 80%. That's like... Eight out of 10 people almost. That's crazy. All right. And you know those can be fixed. Obesity and drug abuse. Um, some of these issues are things that I had too, like this one, autoimmune diseases. Some studies are saying they're going up by 13% every year. That's something obviously that I had a major problem with. Again, comment below if you either have any of these problems um, or if you've overcome some of these problems or just your experiences because I really want to hear more about this from the viewers. And then it's also said these autoimmune issues, so they're going up by 13% a year. Here's another issue of one I had, which is heart disease. Heart disease, which is almost totally preventable, in my opinion, and that's what opinion of this person uh, who stated this on Rogan, is the leading cause of death in the United States, guys, if you can even imagine that. Let's see here. Leading cause of death in the United States, killing around... 800,000 people. I mean, almost a million people a year. Heart disease. Um, again, I myself had heart disease. I was told that I needed open heart surgery. Uh, as you guys know, I did all these protocols that I've created. Um, the hydrogen one was interesting because I tried different, I've tried so many different types of hydrogen and none of them ever got rid of my heart condition. And what ended up actually happening is when I realized that not all hydrogen machines are created equal, and I changed to a different, basically the best machine from Japan, as you guys know, I'm always sharing that with you guys. When I used that one, then that's when my heart condition ended up going away. And thank goodness I never got the surgery, never needed it. And I have used actually that same technique uh, with other people who've contacted me and they're like, hey, I want to try what you tried. And their heart disease also went away. So I think, I doubt Joe Rogan's going to hear this, but, or, or the doctors on that show, but I would always be happy to share my protocols, my techniques, what I've personally seen work. And, I, if, and if it's affecting this many Americans, guys, you know my channel's not very big, but if somebody actually saw this information come out, I'm happy to share all the information for free. And so I think it could make a potentially big difference in the world. Okay, and then um, that's it. So those are the stats. Those are my opinions on what's going on. Uh, don't forget to comment below. Give the video a thumbs, thumbs up. You know, support the channel, support the algorithm because that's what's going to help the word get out about this. And I just think that it's really important because, again, I had all sorts of other issues that they didn't mention here, but I found ways to really overcome these. And I just really think that it can help others. And I, as you guys know, I suffered a lot from a lot of these medical issues. And now that I've really discovered what really appears to at least make them go away for me and other people that I've seen, I just think the world needs to know. So I thank you everybody for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.